thing. Sai looks Did like someone that? threw up. Hold on a second. Did you know that it's not the case, but um, Alex Hirsch, the guy who wrote Gravity Falls, was originally tapped to write the screenplay for Detective Pikachu. Really? But it didn't. He ended up not. It, his screenplay wasn't used in the end. Oh. Um, which is very sad because I would have been amazing. Uh, I hope he releases the screenplay after the movie comes out because I want to read that. I want to find out what the Gravity Falls vision for Detective Pikachu would have been. Oh, okay. Wow. Let's let's talk about this game a little bit. Suarez going off stage, really pressuring Jewel, and I like that considering the yeah. fact that uh, you know, Robin doesn't have a lot of great get off me options, especially once she ends up off stage. And Yoshi's just able to put up so much pressure, especially in the air. Because of his aerial drift and his solid frame data and pretty decent hitboxes, he can basically always be threatening to close the gap and punish you uh, once he hits you. Pretty much just oh. once on stage. That's funny. He tried to save his buddy. He got hit with Nosferatu as well. Yeah, right now, it just seems like it's a hard time. Okay. No way. That was so good. And that's just looking what amazing you for Red Team. You saw what MGW did, like, do the Shadow Sneak. That was a really bad time to do that. He almost killed his partner for that. Ow. That looked very painful. No, he couldn't get back. He may have, he may have uh, been able to um, air dodge to the left and then go with the rest of his recovery. But right. The game was pretty even, but the fact that that uh, stock from... MGW ended up being dropped. All right, that quick response was pivotal. You know, we've been seeing so many times today how if somebody is able to survive on their first stop, they can just run away with the game. So great job from Red Team to be able to kill Jen and prevent something like that from happening. But I think that Blue Team is still playing really well. They're starting to pull away from it, especially at these lower percents, it seems. Both these characters are amazing at lower percents in terms of their combos, in terms of their how their neutral game operates. A couple of times already, I've already seen kind of MGW. Oh, what, what, oh what, so what, good! What the, wow. His partner hit him, he did an egg, followed through, and managed to get Nair off stage into the kill. Yeah, that was beautiful. One thing in particular I want to mention, Red Team right now, um, they're kind of running into each other a little bit. At least three times already, they've kind of ran into each other's attacks, and one almost got him killed. But it's putting them in a situation where they're not able to establish the middle of the field because they're always knocking each other away. Oh, I, did you notice the angling on that up B from Jewel? He was definitely trying to actually snipe uh, Suarez with those oh, Elwin no, hitboxes. He's dead. he's dead. No, he's not actually going to be surviving. Help. He might be running out of tomes. That is a thing that can happen with Robin. If she runs out of up B, she's gone. Whoa, Wait, what, what happened? Up B? I thought Yoshi was going to nair him. Okay, he does get the revenge kill there. But Yoshi was going to go for some type of nair, and I think he got beat out by uh, by um, by Robin's there instead, actually. I thought that was actually an up B. Was it? I, I have no idea. No, no, I think it was a yeah, but look at this. Oh, boy. Man, Yoshi forward air is so weird now. If Spike Hitbox is above him when he does it, and the range oh, is like that was such not a even nice, there. That was such a beautiful fake. He ran up to him and jumped in his face, made him made him flinch for a grab attempt. Okay, we got okay missed uh, the combo there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Almost got punished there. We got Suarez having a hard time punishing Greninja for going after his partner. Ooh. Yo, what is going on? He's everywhere. Oh, MGW's feeling himself. You can see him, like, moving around in his chair. And honestly, Greninja is one of those characters that can be really... Oh, oh no, boy. that was a mistake. Yeah, he did not mean to counter, and countering meant that he had, was so down so low. He might have been able to, like, go for cheeky up B when, like, zigging out and zigging back in. But even then, I'm pretty sure Palutena Nair has only a spike hitbox. Sorry, down there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why he even went down there in the first place. Oh, uh, he accidentally countered. Yeah, yeah, I it almost felt like he wanted to go off stage and do, and do like maybe Shadow Sneak, maybe? I don't know. Because well, well, down B means he was putting the troll stick in that direction or something like that. Or maybe he was trying to just fast fall and do something. I, I My guess is that maybe he was trying to fast fall and yeah. up B. Because if I had to really speculate, I don't know if he snaps to ledge immediately above 
like underneath the ledge. Aww. You know, there are some characters that have that problem. Mm -hmm. So maybe he was like trying to fast fall and then up B to make it back. Or it could have just been that he was really predicting that they would drop down there with him. Oh, and he, you know, when you I have like sort of, most you go thing. for like a really hard commitment to the point where even though like you recognize that the opponent isn't going for it, you just go for it anyway. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, definitely. Oh God, you, like for me, it's always when you're like, all right, I'm gonna read an air dodge here, charge up smash. And you charge up smash, see them jump away, you sit there charging the up smash like, maybe I maybe this is like a wrong timeline and then it's gonna fix itself. Where he air dodges. I should have known that MVW was gonna do something like that, because he, when he when he starts feeling himself in a good way, like he starts like, you know, um like dancing in his chair sort of. I don't know what, what that what that's about, but it's like that's when you know he's in the in the in a rhythm. Just moving IRL. Yeah, man. Alright. MGW trying to skip um do something on the left side, but he just got pushed off stage and pushes forces himself back into the middle there. Now one thing from this from Suarez is Yoshi is that it can Yoshi's combos are so tight. You know, like he within a very short span of time and then a very short space, he can actually manage to uh rack up a ton of damage and that's one of the reasons why at these lower percents like that. Like you go for the up smash and Ooh. like you probably saw that he wasn't gonna get hit by that was oh, very he close. Went for it. Blue team is controlling the stage right now. I, I think Jewel in particular is having a much hard, much harder time than MGW doing anything on the stage. Like already at 130, Ninja did catch up in percent though. Hey, don't forget Ooh. MGW was stuck off stage for like a minute. All right, nice. Ooh. That was dangerous. But Red Team, for the most part, is doing an okay job at surviving. MGW did just lose yeah, that stock. Wow. But I feel like the kill power on Red Team means that they cannot get comfortable. Um, I really like Jules movement. He's taking every option he possibly has and just maximizing it. Making it very hard to tell what he's going to do with his moves. But that up there. That, that pressure, did you see that? Yeah, Pressuring man. with nares and then up bears and then actually catching the jump with an up air himself. <gasps> oh, that could be big. Wow, it's hard for to carry there. Yeah, <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, close him off stage. What's Suarez gonna do? He can get the off stage pressure he wanted, and now he's in the corner trying to survive. I actually love seeing when Yoshi's opt to go egg as opposed to oh. air dodge back to stage when they're like doing off stage. He thought he can catch Jewel sleeping though. Suarez with the down B, no good. Oh, Elwin, he's using that like as an attack, not a recovery. Let's go. And that's actually exactly what Red Team needed. They are in the lead right now. Yeah, that's crazy, because early on, Blue Team had the stage. Like, there was one member of the Red Team on each side, so off stage on each side, but now um, they're pushing back. Oh, that, oh, that neutral air barely missing. That would have been huge. Getting a relatively early stock onto Robin, that would keep them in the running for sure, but now as they incur more and more damage, ooh, eventually it might just end up being outside of their reach. I love that, doing down B while being able to still uh, grab the ledge. Oh, oh no. Oh, survives. Good job, Jewel. Yeah. Back air stacks really well with rage, but that also means that when he's... Does he have no Elwin left? He might have no Elwin. Did he Z drop while in the middle of Elwin? Is that what happened? Because he hit Yoshi when he was ready to go for a punish. Palutena does get the kill, though. I think it might have been the Elwin Tome falling out of his hand. Yeah, I think so, man. Nice job. Forward throw into an up smash. Simple, clean, and effective. Now we have one stock apiece for every character. Although Yoshi has the most damage here, we have seen that blue team is really good at racking up that low yeah. percent damage. Oh, no. Critical mass. Goes Ooh. for the shadow sneak. No good. Wow, and he was actually able to be there for his teammate, preventing a punish onto Greninja. Oh and that's going to be it. And now we have a 2v1 situation. This is still doable for Jen, but it's... Ooh. What are you doing? Autoradical what? Yeah, he's in trouble here. Get off that platform. Uh -oh. Ladder? Good job teleporting down, but he's in big trouble. He's got to land. It's something started. I'm surprised he's not going for neutral airs. Yeah, I do like the idea behind it, actually. Neutral air is a very committal move in terms of even if you land the hit, the opponent can Ooh. be, like maybe Palu can get up, uh, sorry, uh, Robin can get underneath you for a Very nice. 
Doesn't kill yet, but he's... One more of those, he's probably dead. Nice fair. Will it, will it do it? No. Actually hits his partner. More than anything, I think that what Red Team is really excelling at right now is being there for each other. That You know, they're getting oh, hit. The counter, but, though. Back throw? Yes, we yep. do it. Almost oh. got the up fair, but he was a little bit too far up. There we that go. That should be it. Oh, oh no. Strike two. That's very smart. Man, that setup was a good idea. Just did not work out. 156, critical mass. What we got? Can we get back? Yo, what's he going to do? We oh, actually gets out of that situation. He's at 150 okay, now. That, that might it. be just, it, though. Going him. for a forward throw? Not it. Maybe up throw would have done it, actually. Uh, no, Greninja's up throw doesn't really kill anymore. Oh. Yeah. All right. We got the ledge. Well, that should be it. Yep. Doing a good job of surviving there, but Jen not really able to get any sort of tangible yes. foothold, meaning that as the match dragged on, there was nothing he could really do. Yeah, man, I think um, towards the end there, we saw Red Team's combo game. Um, maybe they relaxed a little bit, but they started whiffing out on those situations. They missed two of the uh, throws into up air, I think it was, and it was giving Palutena a chance to survive. Uh, At the same necessary. time, though, I feel like their main game plan was yeah. just being there for each other. Yeah. And I feel like that was much more effective than like, oh, I grab him and then, you know, hit him with this nice combo. Because, like, there's still, like, you know, if you have good 2v1 combo potential, that still means that one of you could get hit and then die. As opposed to if you're mm -hmm. always there for each other, then, yeah. like, there really is no way for them to make a comeback. Now, that did happen towards the middle and the end of the match. But in the beginning, it seemed like Red Team had a very hard time establishing the center stage. Blue Team had it for, like, a good 30 seconds with both red players off the stage. What should blue team do to maintain it even longer this time? Because they started off that match right. Getting better at getting off the ledge. Yeah. And also yeah. I noticed that Yoshi was normally really good at like getting early kills off stage. They didn't really get any in that in this game. Oh, really not really, any. but also Battlefield is a bigger stage. Yeah. There was opp one opportunity for him where he got an egg and he could have got converted it into a neutral air off stage to get a really early stock onto uh, Jewel, but barely misspaced it, so that was sort of, like that probably would have won them the game. There are a lot of games today where it's oh, like no. these tiny little mistakes or just miscalculations or even just RNG are... Jewel was in a little bit of trouble there. I'm surprised he only got away with 26%. Uh-oh, don't fall for it. I love that from Suarez. For so often, he's been like going for immediate forward air, immediate neutral air. Uh, but it hasn't really been working, but it's been working as a conditioning tool. And right there, he was sort of expecting them to throw out an escape option of some kind, waited for it, but it was a very good on tool, good awareness that he did nothing and then manages to get back to stage all the same. All right. Looks like MGW commanding the, or, um, in the front, slashes Palutena to the right side. Blue team trying to recover. Oh, good job. Uh-oh, here comes Yoshi, trying to go after Jewel, but doesn't work out because MGW was harassing him. Oh, no. Wow, that, that snipe. The fair. Oh, he's caught it, but he doesn't get hit oh, by the... Oh, no, he his partner. Good blue team, you need to take care of the stock on Jewel. Yeah, like, right away. You've seen how last game, struggling to kill was... I of the thing. Yeah, definitely. And so you can't have, you know, you can't you can't have your opponent living to like 150%. Great job there getting the down tilt into back air conversion. Yeah, he needed DI away after that um that down tilt happened, but didn't like he did it in time. Still a very close game though. Suarez at 138%, critical mass. Nosferatu. Ooh, Nosferatu is a fair. Let's go! And that's actually huge. I was expecting, you know, uh, I was expecting that Suarez's stock would be the next one to go. But Jen was at a much lower percent, meaning that that hurts so much more because Suarez is still on death's door, 140%, especially against characters like these two. Forward air from Greninja, will, from anywhere past mid-stage, will probably do it. And, you know, any of the strong hits from uh, Robin, oh, no. are you kidding me? Sometimes I feel like it's a trap when a player has high percent on and they have three stocks. You want to, you see that and you go, they shouldn't be living that long. Let's go focus on him a little bit more and try to take away that stock. But what that can do sometimes, it makes it easier to bait and punish you because your strategy becomes so much more obvious. Yeah, not only that, but from Suarez, you could tell he's scared. We've even seen him like spamming rolls a few times. 
Which, of course, Jake, you want to survive. But that does mean that you give oh up God. a lot of the aggressive potential he's had before. Yes. Um, meaning that the match is kind of slowed down, possibly in Red Team's favor. But as I said that, honestly, that was so good. Wow. I, I, that, that was, was beautiful. Amazing. Yo, Suarez going in, milking this, this first stock with everything he's got. Very oh, nice there by Jules. Finally, yep. Funny thing is, we saw Palutena getting hit by that. Wow, one. Jules, the bravery. All right, once again, this dual stock needs to go for blue team. If they do that, it's basically an even game, actually, in their favor. But if they can't manage that, then Jewel can just abuse that rage and possibly do even more. Once again, back air not having that extra power from rage doesn't even do it. Wow, Jewel's off stage again. Suarez going for the kill. Can he get it? Nice save by MG Dubs. Wow, a nice save on Jen's part as well. We're, honestly, I feel like this is the final stage of this doubles battle. This Roxy ends up there. Nice job. That saved him, absolutely. If he was at higher percent from before that Nosferatu, oh, that no. would have finished him. He should probably take this stock, yeah. Save him, save him. Joe getting back to the stage at critical mass, 145. Very nice re recovery there, but unfortunately, Joel with the, oh, what are you doing? It's your partner. So it seems like Jewel is okay with facing down Suarez. Oh, oh no. but there it is. That, that oh, but that doesn't. All right, now we have a 1v1. Suarez versus MGW. A slight percent advantage for MGW, but this is huge. Possible. This is the first time we've seen a 1v1 game three situation. Okay, oh. back air. What's he got? Yeah, he burns the double jump immediately. Suarez was able to capitalize. Don't fall for that. Good job. They get the nair, but rolls. This thing did follow up, but their dash attack to the up air. What we got? Watch out for the down B. He could do it. Dash attack. <gasps> Reads the air dodge. He does read it, but get it. Oh my god. He has no jump off stage right now. I love that Shuriken. Just yeah, nice stop harassment. Suarez in his place. Off stage once again. This is neck and neck. Absolutely. Oh, Either of them can die at this it. point. Not quite there yet from the back air, but another one. game. Dash attack. Nice fake up That air. might be it. All the way up. Oh, it's barely surviving. All right, what's he going to do? Is he going to. Okay, he plays it safe. Suarez gets back on the stage. Dash attack. Ooh. Cross is up. Very safe. Voice is there. Out of shield, but that back air puts him off stage. What we got the... he's surviving, oh, but he goes yes, way out there. there. The neutral air oh. closing in. MGW throws his controller down. He knew that he had he it. He had was so it. close. But in the end, the clutchness of Suarez. We have them moving on into loser Very semis. Nice. Fantastic stuff. Oof. Man, at the very end there, Suarez was catching the jumps off the ledge, and it was able to constantly put MGW off the stage so he can get those opportunities that he finally got at the very end there. But MGW was, was when, he, when he got on the stage, very evasive. That Nair, man, he went super far. I'm surprised with the way MGW likes to go that first. That was weak Nair, too. Oh. Yeah, Look at that, that foot. That foot is Nair. huge. It got swole at the last second there. But, um... Considering the way MGW uh, likes to um, shadow snake and counter sometimes in weird situations, I'm surprised he didn't see that happen. And um, I, I, we'll go you know that shadow sneak is super risky. He even went for it a few times in relatively safe positions, like when he was off stage, because afterwards he dropped down below the ledge. Really, not something Yoshi could punish super effectively. Yeah. Um, and so, honestly, I'm really, I really like that play.